Hi, this is Robbie from Sonar. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through running an analysis on a C++ project with Sonar Cube using the new auto config feature that we introduced with the 10.6 release. Auto config eliminates all of the usual prerequisites, so there's no more specific compiler allegiance, no more elaborate setup rituals, and no dependencies on your project's build environment. The result is that SonarCube now supports the analysis of C and C++ projects that use many more compilers and build tools than were previously supported. In addition, the use of the build wrapper or compilation database is no longer a requirement to analyze your project. For this demonstration, I'm going to be running analysis on a test C++ project that I have downloaded here on my Mac. So I'm going to start over here in the UI. I'm going to come over and click Create Project. And because I'm running everything locally, I'm just going to click Local Project here. I'm going to give my project a name, select a new code setting, and then I'm going to be taken to the wizard selection. Now, I'm not running my project as a part of a CI. Everything's going to be local. Uh, however, if you are running analysis from a CI, please see our documentation for details on how to get these set up. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and generate a token here, and then I'm going to click C or C++. Now you'll notice what's different here from what we had before. Um, we have this new tab that says automatic, and this corresponds to that auto config feature that we're going to be testing out today. If we come over and look at the steps that used to be required here, you'll see that uh, we used to need to come in and download a build wrapper and run that as a part of our build command before actually executing the scanner. With auto config, we no longer need to do this. We just need to select our operating system and then copy the scan command over to our terminal. In the rare instance, you don't see the proper analysis results you're expecting from this scan, and you want to have finer control over the analysis configuration, maybe because of a specialized build configuration, you can actually fall back on that compilation database method to configure your analysis. Uh, see our other how-to video on configuring C and C++ analysis for details on either using the build wrapper or compilation database. All right, looks like our scan completed. So I'm going to go back over to Sonar Cube, and it looks like we have some results there put in. Uh, so you'll see we didn't need any additional configuration here. We didn't need to uh, set up a compilation database. Everything was able to be passed over to Sonar Cube just through one command. If you run into issues with your C++ scan, be sure to enable the debug logs by putting a dash X at the end of your scan command. This will spit out a lot more verbose logs, so you can copy these and take them over to our community form to ask for help on your analysis. You can detect coding issues earlier on in the development workflow by using our free IDE plugin SonarLint, which is available for VS Code, Visual Studio, JetBrains products, and Eclipse. Also, by using a commercial edition of SonarCube, you'll have access to our incremental pull request analysis to get SonarCube scan results commented directly onto your PRs.